Welcome to the Mathematic channel. How can we solve 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x equal 4 to the power x? Well, this is a really interesting question with lots of very smart steps for Math Olympiads. Watch the video and find out. Our first step here is going to be to try and divide both sides by 4 to the power x. So we can say that this is 9 to the power x over 4 to the power x minus 6 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x and 4 to the power x divided by itself is going to be 1. So moving the 4 to the x to the other side times becomes divide and so we're dividing the left hand side by 4 to the power x. This is going to allow us to follow the first rule of algebra that we can find here. When you have a to the power n divided by b to the power n, you're allowed to combine these and say that it, this is a over b to the power n. And so we can use this here and say that this is 9 over 4 to the power x minus 6 over 4 to the power x equal 1. Starting from the top here, we notice that 9 over 4 can be written as 3 over 2 squared and this will still be to the power x minus and 6 over 4 can also be written as 3 over 2 because it's a fraction and if you divide the top and bottom by 2 you'll get 3 over 2 and this is also to the power x and this can be equal to 1. So we can use a smart step here and say that we let u equal 3 over 2 to the power x and this will allow us to make a substitution in our equation here because we can rearrange our line to say 3 over 2 to the power x squared minus 3 over 2 to the power x is equal to 1. And using the substitution, we end up with u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic that's not easily simplified. And so I would suggest here that you use the quadratic formula. We can start with finding the discriminant, which is delta equals b squared minus 4ac. And here in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So our delta value here is going to be b squared, so negative 1 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 and negative 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4 a 1 plus 4 is going to be equal to 5 which is positive therefore we will have two solutions starting from the top with our quadratic we can say that u1 u2 so our two solutions are going to be minus b plus or minus the square root of delta over 2a and in this case it'll be minus b so minus minus 1 is 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2a which is 2 and we have to remember that u is equal to 3 over 2 to the power x and being an exponential function or power function 3 over 2 to the power x is strictly positive and you notice that in your two solutions, 1 minus root 5 divided by 2, that will be a negative value. And so this solution is rejected. We cannot accept a negative value. So the only value of u which we will accept is the positive value, which is u equal 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And so now we should be able to finish our question here. And so substituting 3 over 2 to the power x uh, for u, we can say 3 over 2 to the power x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. So when you find yourself with a power equation like this, the best thing you can do is use lin or log. In this case, we're going to use lin. No personal preference is just something that is more commonly used. So lin of 3 over 2 to the power x is going to be equal to lin of the golden ratio, 1 plus root 5 by the way, this is the golden ratio over 2, which is phi. Phi is the golden ratio. This is a very important number. It just happens to be in this question. 
And as we lend both sides, the great thing is we can use a beautiful log law here. The law we're allowed to use here and is a law of logarithms, we can say that ln of a to the power b is equal to b ln a. You can always drop the power in front. This law is very important because it allows us to solve power equations like the equation we're looking at right now. And so dropping the x in front, x ln 3 over 2 is equal to ln of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And for our final step, we can just move the ln of 3 over 2 to the right hand side and say x is equal to ln of in brackets 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 over ln of 3 over 2, also in brackets. And if you were to use technology and type this into your calculator, you would find that x is approximately equal to 1.1868, roughly. And this is a great place to stop for this question. Of course, we need technology at the end to solve for lin, but the technique to get there is really quite interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Mathemagic channel for more Math Olympiad problems. We really appreciate you being here. Please support our channel and see you on the next video.